summer with the full moon rising Up into the sky it starts climbing And by the firelight I see her smiling well, She's my country girl and I get high when I see her face shining bright as the full moon light My heart starts to race like an eagle my soul takes flight Guitar and a twenty dollar bill. The man who hopes that she's coming back, but knows that she never will. Searching through the dance halls for the love that's never there. Loading up the pistol, cause it feels that no one cares. And the strings are like a tonic. Put that music in your veins Slip into a song about making money Robbing trains Look at you, how you doing man? I'm doing very well, how about yourself? Good, man, what a great way to spend Wednesday afternoon when we're recording this man Because uh, your self-titled album man, we've been rocking out to it for days We got the preview, it's fantastic stuff Hey, awesome, thank you very much brother Absolutely, so it's coming out July 23rd uh, yeah, just stunning stuff, man. Great listen. And the more you listen to it, the better it gets. It's a full experience from the first uh, Country Girl to Outlaw Highway. And then, of course, um, you know, I mean, Outlaw Highway is just second to last song, but it's technically the last song. Right. But it's a journey. That's the point. It's a journey. It's a heck of an album. So just congratulations on it, Dallas. Thank you very much. I appreciate that a lot, man. Absolutely, Dallas. And, and, and let's start with this and, and be honest. And this is the big question. Can a musician be made, Dallas, or are you born a musician? Like, what I'm trying to say is, can I go to my neighbor? Can I go to the person across the street? And if they put the 10,000 hours, they can become great guitarists or great songwriters, or are you born with it? Oh, I don't know. That's <clears throat> hard to say. I think it's a, it's a journey to become a musician, uh, for sure. So it's, um, I think I think some people have a calling, you know, they, you know, um, they have it. Uh, from from the start they know it's something they want to do but it's you have to really uh, dedicate you know your heart and soul to it for a long time to to get to a place where uh, I think you you're, you're proud of what you're doing so um, sure yeah that's, that's, so I think you're seeing a little bit of both yeah yeah you could say that yeah I dig that I dig that I dig that Dallas so you know, let's start with the band, the band that you did this record with, because it's yeah. an all-star yeah. band. I mean, you worked with Star yeah. with Sterling Finlay, that was with Todd Snyder, with you know, with Larry Cheney, that worked with uh, with our friend of the show, Steve Earle, with yeah. pianist Colin Fox, that's with Charlie Crockett. We just saw him at Third and Lindsley last month. A bunch yeah. of it's an all-star game, all-star like an all-star team of musicians. So the question is, Dallas, when you start working with people like this at this level, yeah. um do you do you like audition them i guess for a lack of a better question or is it more like man like straight to the point i know what you can do um no it's it's not so much it, uh, it's it kind of happens organically i mean you know most of those guys are, are people that i uh have known or have played with and worked with some and so it, it was just uh it was kind of a matter of just uh calling in uh the uh the cats that I thought would really fit um, in with this material and yeah, and, and could work well together, you know, to uh, to kind of create a a, a sound. So um, I, no, these guys don't need need auditioning. Um, yeah, that's for sure. You know, definitely, definitely. Okay, cool. So that's that's what I figured because you guys have such great chemistry. I mean, it's like like it, it, you can tell that your your vision they they were just in tune with it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, and like, like I said, we, you know, I've, I've spent some uh, significant time playing with most of these guys, um, so there's definitely some chemistry uh, that that we came into the studio with already. I dig that. I dig that, yeah. Dallas. And you know, um, your last album was really successful. I mean, we're talking about it was uh, number four on the U.S. alt country chart. You know, on the U.K. Americana charts, it was top twenty-five for a while. Yeah. Um, so I guess you know the question is. 
is it more fun to put an album now that you have high expectations, Dallas, that people say, man, Dallas Borough is coming out with an album and last one was dope. Or was it like more liberating at the beginning when really nobody knew who you were? Sure. I, I don't know. I mean, I think uh, I don't have any kind of um, particular expectation. You know, I don't, um, however well it, it performs, I'm going to be happy uh, with it regardless, probably. Um, I'm, I'm just happy to put new music out there. So, um, nice. yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it was fun with the first one kind of coming out of nowhere because, you know, how, however well it does, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a win, right? It's, you know, um, and with this one, I mean, you know, I, I don't think that there's too much in the way of, um, you know, uh, you know, an, an overwhelming sense of expectation or anything like that. I think again, I'm I'm just um, I'm I'm excited to get new music out there, and yeah. uh, and however it performs on the charts and that, all that stuff, you know, it it be it be great if it does well. Um, but regardless, I'm I'm proud of the work, and I'm I'm just excited uh, to uh, to share it with folks. So yeah, that bodes well because when it comes from the heart like that, is ironically when it does well. But I know that's not your goal, but that's just how it, how it works, right? Sure, the universe yeah. works funny like that. Yeah. Oh man, that's great. Okay, so let's talk about a few of the songs. I mean, let's start with the last one, right? The last clip, yeah. I should say. The last yeah. clip, because it's called Conversations with Bruce, with Bruce Robinson, of course. Uh, right. Robinson has written for my audience. He's written several songs which have become hits by people like the Dixie Chicks, like Traveling Soldier, mm -hmm. you know, a bunch. Like, the guy is a low-key, like, a modern-day legend, you know, like you say. For so sure. he's, he's great. Yep. What are, you know, how was the experience working with him? And, like, what are some of the things you learned from him that he's been in the business, you know, for a while that you can take with you going forward, Dallas? Man, it was, you know, it was, a, it was a great honor to get to work with Bruce. Um, mm -hmm. Intimidating a little bit. Like you said, he's, you know, he's written monster hits for, you know, some of the best yeah. in the business. Yeah, Tim McGraw as well, all angry all the time, you know, he did that one, like unbelievable. Completely. So, um, so, you know, um, it takes a lot to impress him. And so, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's, you know, what, I, what I, that's what I was going for, you know, was to try to bring something to the table that would, uh, that would get his attention. And so, um, it was awesome, man. Uh, you know, um, I think, um, if anything, he just, he kind of, um, for one thing, uh, reaffirmed something, which, which I, you know, um, you know, probably already believed in, which is it's all about the songs. You know, um, it's all about having strong material starting out um, because, you know, uh, you can you can dress it up and and uh, and, you know, promote and, and do all these all these things to, to, you know, to get something out there. But if in the first place, the song is not strong on its own, if you can't stand on its own two legs, then, you know, um, then you're uh, you know, it's all it's all for nothing. So. Um, yeah. He just, if anything, he really, um, you know, impressed that upon me to, you know, to come to the table with, with, uh, with strong material. And so it, you know, encouraged me to, to write the best songs I could. And, uh, and, and it was, uh, it was really cool just to, um, you know, to get him to kind of help me put some finishing touches on some things um, as far as the arrangements go and stuff like that, you know, uh, yeah. maybe like, just put a pause here or add a little bridge here, musical bridge here, just things like that. Um, yeah. you know, um, but you know, ultimately, um, uh, it's, you know, the, the story, the storytelling and the songwriting is front and center. And so, exactly. uh, yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's, I think the thing that I, I, I Definitely. Got out of it the most, you know, and I think that's something that Austin and, and our cousin city here in Nashville, like we, right. we relate to that. Absolutely. Sure. Um, so, so how do you know when, when a song is ready, Dallas? And I mean it because like, say, uh, like, you know, one of the great songs you do, I don't know, like say father, son, whatever, like father, yeah. son, like it, it's just perfect. Every syllable, every space, but like, how do you know when it's ready? Because you're a poet, you're a, you're, you're like, uh, you're a troubadour. You, I, I feel like you could still be working on it today. If you, if you had, if you could, you know what I mean? Like, when do you know it's ready? Yeah. Um, well, thank you, man. I, I you know, I, I, uh, I'm proud of that, that tune for sure. Um, you know, it's one of those things where, um, when, when you start out writing a song, you know, I mean, as a songwriter and I, and I don't know if this is the same for everybody, but in my, in my you know personal experience, 
you know, you sit down a lot of times to start to write something and maybe you get like a verse or you get a chorus or you get, you know, a piece of a song. And, and, uh, but when you, when you have, um, a song that compels you to work all the way through it and, you know, from start to finish when, you know, it, when the song itself, um, motivates you to to see it through to fruition yeah and then when you write it out on paper and you see you you can you can almost see you can tell by the handwriting you can you know um you can tell by just the form that it takes on a page it when it really it has um continuity and it's it's well thought out you Mm. you can almost see it visually um but it's you know it's a it's a feeling it's 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 a it's hard to say. I mean, you know, you can work on a song forever, but um, a lot of times for me, if, if I, if I whip one all the way out, if I get all the way through writing a song and then I can remember it before I even write it down, a lot of times that's the thing that, uh, that tells nice. me that it's, that, that it's, you know, if, if, um, it, if it, if it makes enough of an impression on me as a songwriter that sure. I, can, I can remember it all the way through, then a lot of times it has a the, chance. Right. Exactly. I got, oh man, that's awesome. That's a great explanation. I love, I love how you put it that visually you're right. Cause you know, we talked to a lot of songwriters here and no one's ever said that. And when you go to like the Johnny Cash uh, exhibit or whatever, or, right. like you see that it's very visual. That's a beautiful, yeah. beautifully put. Yeah, exactly, man. I, I dig that. I dig that Dallas. All right. So let's, you know, we, we touched on father's son and that theme of this album. Sure. And it's, it's very cool the way you've evolved really, because when you compare it to something like Northern Lights, you know, and on to Southern mm-hmm. Wind, which are your, your previous records, mm-hmm. there seems to have been a shift in your life, an evolution. Uh, you know, I, I'll give you an example. You know, songs like Come and Go, you know, man, Free Spirit, man, it's almost like sure. like Waylon. It reminds you of Waylon Jennings, man. Like, yeah, Dallas Borough Adventures, you know, let's go. Uh-huh. Um, and then this album, in a, in a very beautiful way, it's like, man, like, he's found that different kind of joy and peace. Um yeah. How 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 was that like evolution like to put it on record, Dallas? Well, it, I mean, it feels really good uh, to uh, you know to to be in this place where I am now, kind of you know having settled down and, and kind of just you know coming to my own. I mean, yeah. And, and not to say that there won't still be you know some more great adventures in my future, um, but but I appreciate that that you uh, uh, pick up on that that um, you know from some of the earlier work. It's, you know, it's just kind of wild rambling, just, you know, out there in the wind, free spirited thing, which, which was, um, you know, something that I really embodied for a long time. And, uh, and I think it's just a natural evolution, um, you know, of, of growing up and and figuring out, you know, what's most important. And so uh, I really tried to speak to that on this record, you know, this kind of a a new uh, sense of, 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 you know, just being grounded, becoming a dad, you know, you know, uh, starting to appreciate, um, you know, just different things, you know, having, having some stability, having a a solid foundation, you know? Um, so, you know, I think all that stuff, it just, it, it works its way into the storytelling. And so, I mean, it's, uh, you know, there's a common thread that runs through all the, all the songs, you know, that I've ever written, which is, you know, they're all coming from a place that's, you know, um, based on on real experiences it's just that you know uh, as happens in anyone's life those experiences are going to tend to uh, you know ev- you know evolve so yeah yeah it's been part of your journey it's been great because it's like your journey on record you know it's yeah. like it's there for the world it's fantastic Definitely. and um oh, yeah it's really cool it's really cool what you're doing and uh you know I, I feel like you've liberated a lot of bandwidth that was like not serving you if you will, for example, I mean, yeah. you became sober, you talk, you've talked, you've talked about quitting alcohol and yeah. you've become an entrepreneur, right? Like you launched, the, you know, the, uh, like a listening room kind of thing yeah. in, in your home, in where you live. Like basically you've become a father, you've become a great musician and now you're an entrepreneur. Uh, how, how has that been like, you know, becoming a business guy? It's interesting, man. Um, you know, it, uh, it was inspired by just, you know, wanting to, to create a, a space so that we could, you know, foster other songwriters and, uh, and bring in, you know, great performers, uh, so that yeah. we could, you know, kind of give the community a chance to see, 
to see songwriters up close and personal in, in a different way. It's called the Red Bird Listening Room, by the way, and it's in New Braunfels, Texas. So for, that's, I that's to right, man. It. Yeah, I, I appreciate you uh, uh, mentioning that. Um, yeah, it's 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 a different thing. It's it's definitely been a shift. I mean, you know, I was uh, I was you know a rambler and a gypsy for a long time. So now to be, you know, in one place and uh, and running an operation like this and having a business and and being a dad and all this, it's it's a it's a definitely definitely a, been a transformation, but it's been a really good one, and it's been really you know uh, rewarding. And uh, I mean, I feel like you know I'm in as good a place as I've been in my whole adult life, as far as nice, um, you know, just you know, taking care of myself and my health, and and my and, and looking after my family, and and uh, focusing on the things that matter the most, and uh, and you know. Uh, and you know, on top of all that, running the business, it's a, uh, it's, 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 it's a, uh, it's satisfying. You know, it's it's brought a lot of uh, kind of, uh, I guess, uh, satisfaction and and fulfillment. I would say, yeah. That's cool, man. But listen, you said it all. You you look at peace. You look you look well. You look you look super healthy, and you got all this stuff going on, man. So it's obviously working out for you, man. You look great. Appreciate yep. that, Rod. Of course. Absolutely, Dallas. So listen, uh, there's a rumor that you may play a little ditty for us. Is that true? Sure, man. I'd be happy to. Ah, oh, yep. man, that's awesome. That's well, I, we're honored. I got my guitar here. Um, Look at it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Is, so is there uh, anything in particular that you might like me to play? Um, nah, man. What, what would you, you know? What do you feel? What are you feeling? Beautiful guitar, by the way. Look at that. Thanks, sir. Can, can I give you, uh, Dallas, you're like a guitar virtuoso. Can I give you any guitar and you could make it sound good? Or are you very well, particular about your guitars? I'm, I, I wouldn't call myself a virtuoso, man. Uh, you know, I'm, <laughs> a, I'm an adequate guitar player. I, I, I can play enough to write a song. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I think I think all guitars have a different sound. So um, uh, I'm not too picky, honestly. I, cool. You know, if, if it plays good, I, I'll play it. You know. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, man. Play whatever you want. Play play whatever you're feeling in this moment today on this Wednesday, you know, in June. See ya. Let's do Outlaw Highway. Nice. Thanks, man. That's that's awesome. Absolutely. So yeah, this is a this is one that was um, it was a poem my dad wrote, and uh, he brought it to me, and um, I, I just as soon as I read it, I loved the poem. It's a it's this great adventure tale about you know an outlaw on the run and. And uh, so uh, this is the last song on, on the album and uh, called Outlaw Highway. Ride that outlaw highway cause I'm wanted by the man. I killed a man in Tahoe, now I'll never be free again. They want me for the murder of a man I didn't know But he called my play in Tahoe And he wound up face down in the snow So I ride that outlaw highway Cause I'm wanted by the man His family and the sheriff They have sworn to do me in the cowboy rides no longer go through no wish of my own. You tell the sheriff's posse in the morning, well, I'll be gone. I want to ride that outlaw highway and be wanted by the man. My heart's out in the bed, I'll never see that place again. Here for the Mexican border, I got across the Rio Grande. I got friends in Mexicali, and that's where I'll make my stand. No more to ride that outlaw highway, no more laws on my caboose. You can tell the sheriff's posse, I forever slipped his noose. 
No more to ride that outlaw highway. No more laws on my caboose. You can tell the sheriff's posse I forever slipped his noose. Unbelievable. Whoa, what a boys. What a lyric. Masterful. Loved it, man. Thanks, man. Unbelievable. Well, listen, you said it all, Dallas Borough. Congratulations. Thank you for your time. Your self-debut album, your self-titled uh, album, July 23rd. Thank Everybody you. go get it. It's going to be a great hit because the quality is there, man. So congratulations. Thank you very much, J-Rod. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me on. And, uh, and uh, uh, thanks again. Absolutely. Take care, Dallas. All right. Take care, brother.